Okay, so I wanted to show you how you would not only install UCCNC um, and our profiles, but also get rid of an older installation in case you have one. Um, so these are the most current ones, but for the sake of demonstration, uh, let's say that these are older. Now there are two places we can find your UCCNC license key. Um, and we're going to want to save that before we delete anything. So it can be found in your UCCNC folder, which should be in your local disk. Um, and that will be right here. You can have multiple licenses um, because you may use multiple UC100s. But take the one that corresponds to your uh, UC100, copy it and paste it somewhere safe for the time being. I'll put it on the desktop so it's easy to kind of visualize. Then, once we're in here, uh, we can delete the shortcuts that are sent to the desktop when the multi-installer runs. And then, once we're in here, we can actually run the uninstaller, hit OK, select OK again, and so now it uninstalled UC CNC. So this is what actually is loaded, uh, this is what's left when you uninstall UC CNC. So you want to make sure you take care of all of that. Um, and go ahead and delete the UC CNC folder in your local disk. So now we have our license file. And I will just grab that multi installer as well. There we go. This is all we need. So we're going to go ahead and run the multi-installer, and it's going to ask if we want to make changes. We're going to hit yes. Now we just step through it like this. Uh, our options, we will, I personally own a 420, select the machine size that you personally own. Next, it's going to ask us which profiles we want. Um, this is the standard screen set, um, the standard installation that's for a milling spindle. And if you have the PH40 3D printer head, uh, the 3D probe or the automatic tool changer, and the DL445 laser engraver, you would select those as well. Now, for my purposes, since I work with all of these attachments, I'm going to select all of them. And it tells you how much installation space it's going to take. Hit Next. And it's going to create the UCCNC folder. And this is what we want to see, shortcuts on desktop. We want to make sure those profile shortcuts show up over here. So we can hit Next. And that's just going to install our files for us. OK. Now, as you can see, uh, four different profiles popped up here on the desktop. That's exactly how it should look. So the way that we add UCCNC is to go here, and you can check the version. It's the most current. Install. This will ask you, do you want to run? Hit yes. Select our language. And you should get the installation wizard. Accept the agreement. And then you want to make sure that it's installed in the same folder as your profiles, which by default is UCCNC. Now, I have ran into uh, some issues with trying to put this folder anywhere else but your C drive. Um, but your results may vary. I do recommend, if possible, keep it in your C drive. Um, it already exists, yes. And overwrite the default profile and macros, hit yes. And then the program shortcuts, um, CNC drive, UC CNC software. You'll never really need to access this, but you can just hit next. See here, install. And this should go ahead and install the rest of UCCNC so that it works in compatibility with uh, the StepRef profiles we installed. Now, at this point, if you have a UC100, it's that gray 25-pin dongle uh, that connects from your laptop to your machine or your desktop. Uh, if you have that, go ahead and plug it in. If you don't, uh, you can hit OK. And now this throws a lot of people off. Run uccnc.exe. This is not a StepCraft profile, so it will look like your, you'll, you'll be able to move the values for each axis, but the machine's never going to respond. Uh, so uncheck that and hit finish. 
Now if you have a laser, you can go ahead and install the pulse processor. I'm going to hit next and finish. Now we have our profiles here. And I always recommend making a dedicated folder just so that everything is where you need it and uh, you're not losing track of anything like that. I'm just going to grab these, move them on over. Great. And now here is our 840 profiles. Now there's one thing left. Uh, first, I actually delete these shortcuts um, as they don't run the machine and they kind of just confuse um, anyone who's trying to get used to the software. Because uh, then you have to be thinking about which one is the right one to run. Uh, so I just get rid of those. As long as you have the orange ones here, you should be good to go. Now the last thing that we do is go to our local disk, UC CNC, and we simply take our license file and drag that right in. And there you go, there's the license file. Now when we want to run our software, plug in the UC100 uh, and plug it into the back of your StepCraft machine and then just go ahead and double click on the profile. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team at support at stepcraft.us or by giving us a call at 203-556-1856. Thanks.